This video is to show you how easy it is to integrate the Cyberdata Secure Entry Phone to a Cisco infrastructure. In particular, we're going to focus on the mandatory config parameters that must be completed for any secure entry application. Now, although this is the IP65 stainless steel intercom, and it's a, a known as a door phone, it's quite commonly installed at site entry locations to trigger automated gates and barriers. So first we must register the VoIP intercom to Cisco Call Manager. Cyberdata is a certified SIP endpoint that forms part of the Cisco IP telephony platform. So all we do is put a tick in the register with a SIP server. We'd enter our Call Manager details here. And then we will click save. Okay, so the intercom is now integrated to Cisco Call Manager. For fault tolerance support, at your main site, Cyberdata is supported and backed up through the on-site Call Manager server. And for smaller and remote Cisco sites that don't warrant the need for a Call Manager server on location, you can use SRST. Now this is a, a, a Cisco feature that backs up your door phone to the centralized call manager system. So how do we implement SRST? Well, what we would do is put a tick in the SRST box. We would enter the backup server details and then we will click save. Okay. So next is routing the intercom's call. The call button can reach a single phone number. The intercom's call can also form hunt groups. And the keypad version can dial unlimited extension numbers and also mobile phones. Um, for security codes and pin coding access, you can pre-program those codes there. Finally, how do we trigger the onboard relay? Well, what we do is we pre-program a DTMF code. For this example, we're going to use 8801. So the cyber device calls an IP or mobile phone. If the end user wants to grant access, he or she keys in 8801. Then the door, gate or barrier opens. Um, with cyber data, no apps or special software is required. No additional servers or other tied in specific manufacturer parts. The only thing you need is a single Cat5e cable and PoE connectivity.